cannot be other living beings in Zone Zero. So, I must assume that you are merely a figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge. And I am aching to know your name, my dear illusionary interlocator. I am the better. I have been assigned to a sacred mission. Oh, of course, of course. I believe I'm in need of your service. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats! We rub ourselves against our legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. What sort of service can I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a secret mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, there's no objective more laudable than yours. <laughs> I accept to serve as you got through this area. If it is of any help to you. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Right, slow. Mm. Aren't you? Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So, I have been mistaken from the beginning. Hmm. You didn't even interrupt my delude phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say. For you were the first living thing I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones and in those territories. The risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. Up the ladder you go, I'll meet you up there. Down here. Don't fall behind now. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. <laughs> Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited Grepkins makes his entrance onto the scene. Nom 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 Unbelievably satisfying. Ah, yes. Here's an accessory that's going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear supportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, don't judge it too quickly. Despite its criticizable appearance, the red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health, it is capable of sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a loo of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out. 
in order to discover new locations in this, than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry towards the following zones without hesitation. The only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Ah, yes. Don't worry, I too travel a lot through different zones of the world. We will newly meet another eventually without a doubt. Ha <laughs>